beauty squad so this is the start of season three for the rbsg collab make sure you go check out these amazing ladies right here like all up here if you don't have them all go check them all out i will have a playlist down below of course sandra d picked the the word this month this was her month of june and we are starting with abnormal which it couldn't be a better word to describe myself i've never been normal as you can tell with my aesthetics um uh, never wanted to be normal like i knew at a young age that i wasn't the typical everyday person that liked normal things so i kind of got used to that early on in life and accepted it it is what it is but she wanted us to pick one palette out of our collection and we had to do a full face brows contour blush the whole nine yards so i went in with the abh marina this is palette four I do have all of them from the neons down I, I think it's like five or six of them look how gorgeous this palette is but the main reason I picked this palette was because of this cool tone brown right here I'm gonna do that for my brows that was like the hardest shade to find and I like I would find that shade but it wouldn't associate with nothing else in the palette so I really couldn't do much else with it but this has that and then I can contour with that bronze with that blush with any of these probably a little bit of this one and a little bit of that and then the eye look i'm thinking like bright pink with some brown i don't know yet we're going to just wing it i do know that we try to make these under like 15 minutes so i'll probably have this part sped up because i doubt you would want to do any of this on a typical day anyways like but the only thing that y'all would probably want to do out of this might be the eye look if it looks decent that's if let's see if i can get this these no brows to be something because I mean I know I'm not going to be able to master what I typically do with just powder because I usually use a pencil some pomade sometimes and then gel and I'm strictly going in with powder right now so this is going to be unique pretty sure anybody that has brows this challenge probably wasn't that hard for you all they're not like setting them down or something i have to make a whole brow guys so this is going to be harder than it looks because powder don't like to set all just a plain face that looks so wonky we're cool with it i like the least match with the consistency because like you can see <laughs> my hairs oh I got like 16 lights surrounding me and these bulbs are not cheap so I need to get some more I've got one blue yeah just one it's really been a good investment a lot of people that don't know I have it in now I've got that down I put some down here and on here and let's get the uh, bronzing I'm gonna go with a little fatter brush. I'm gonna be three. Just going right over top of that contour shade. I like to make my contour bronzer kind of meet in the middle. The blush C5. Oof. There it's a few, two, one. Good thing I like blush. A couple years ago, they would be like, girl, what are you putting on your face? Because I didn't dig the heavy blush did. Now, uh, it's kind of like that I've been using. So, that I'm going to go in with a little bit of this. And a little bit of C1, A1, and A5. And I like my Bulimia highlighter. I did uh, prime my lids with just my concealer and did my brows with and just kind of buffed that right there. And darken out that outer V. I know it looks messy. Bear with me. It's right here. Again, that darkest shade. Pretty much the darkest shade in the palette. And a little bit because it's a cool tone. 
and I don't have a lot of cool tone shades I can pick. C2, bringing that over top of that brown to brighten this look up. Cause y'all already know, I ain't no natural eyeshadow person by no means. With a nice fluffy brush, even before I did my channel, I did crazy looks. Very colorful looks. Alright. I'm going to do E5. This right here. There we go. Oh, yeah. So, abnormal is the complete opposite of normal. If you've been normal, then you have no idea what abnormal means. And it's okay. Because it's not abnormal is not meant for everybody you have to be able to accept it and want a little bit of e for i'm gonna we'll cut this real quick carver i'm just going to clean this up with a q-tip real quick I'm not used to having my base done, like my face, before my eyeshadow. So if I mess up, I am screwed. And I did wait until like the last minute to do this. So I don't even have time to redo this. I've got a day left to edit and that's it. And I need a full day to edit. Because this is about to be a look under like 15 minutes. So this is where I'm like kind of, mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. like E2 is like a hot Barbie pink and E5 is like the brightest hot pink, like neon pink. <sighs> to do all this down, so I can trust for it. Perfect. Now we need lollipop, lollipop, ooh la la lollipop. Or use this the eye shade. To dust over my Gerard Cosmetics. That's about it. Alright, so look how pretty these are together. You wouldn't think, would you? You would not think. My expression really don't. Now I do want to take a little bit of glitter, this is E2, and put right there on that center, just like so, and I actually got some of it, but it's alright, because I got to put some highlight up there anyways. We're going in with A1, for the win, damn that's stiff. Look how pretty that looks. <laughs> now, I've used this palette before, but God, it's been so long. See, this is why I love these collabs, because they get you out trying out palettes you've had for a little bit. And that you almost forgot about. And that's why I like these collabs. Why not? <sighs> My light just brightened up by so far. See my hands here, right? And it's got a lever you gotta go up and down to brighten it up. Like this right here. So I think I saw it. Yeah. While I was off, I went ahead and did my mascara, did the liner, I did pink uh, underline, and I went in with my Tower 8 28. Mascara, I love this job. Like, look at these lashes. Period. I'm not the best lookout, but again, I am just using uh, eyeshadow palette. We're going to do 
typical nineties look. That cool tone brown. And I'm just lining my lips with the brown. So you should have enjoyed this look. And I'm bringing it in just a little bit. Just for a touch of color. Ah, I don't. We got it. Is it past? Just to kind of like tone it down on top. Yeah. Did you know yellow and pink is a really good combination? <laughs> yeah, they are now. Beautiful palette to do this with. Make sure you go down below in my description box. Check out all these lovely ladies. Stay tuned for next month's collab. I'm not sure who's next. We would have to see. But I love y'all and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.